Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our Factory Talk View SE. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the Factory Talk Views SE security. So, let's see what I am doing. So, I am going to, you will see, I am going to users and create a new users, Factory Talk View users. Now, I am going to name it admin and its password is also a password and password is password now i'm going to click ok you will see my admin user has now created now i need another one i'm going to select a new and it's also a pass password and password is also a password now i'm going to click ok i think my both two user has now created now I am going to click my current runtime security and I am going to access my security accounts and I am going to add show all users I am going to add admin and I am going to also add new but admin you will see admin have all access we allow to that allow 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 but new we have denied to a change to a and i am going to click to ok you will see our both admin and new security account has now created so you will see i am going to save that and now i will going to open my trend screen and i am going to select a display setting and i am going to select a security level a for our trend screen i am going to save that and i am going to close ok now I'm going to select my local message, going to visibility, going to select, now I'm going to select a function and select my security. So you will see I has it have a security. I'm going to give it a give it a security code level A. I'm going to apply that and close that. Now you will see my security screen has screen has also now created. Now I think I need an object which is called a button. Now I am going to create a push button. I am going to up appearance and name is login. I am going to action and I am going to select a system, select security and I am going to select login and I am going to enter password, admin and password is password. I think my login account has now created. Now, I need to create another object which is I am going to push a button and I am going to select that. I am going to select action, going to log out and I am going to copy that and I am to replace that to OK. You will see our both button has now created. Now I need a string display. First we need a panel. I am going to select that panel like that and select the border color which is dark green. I think that's okay. So the back color and I am going to select that as a dark green. Select that okay. Now I am going to select the screen display. So I am going to select that. I am going to select the functions. Going to security. You will see as using my current security. Now my spring display has also now created. Now I need another push button. I am going to experience and name it as a password. I am going to select action. I am going to select a display password. And I think that's also now created. I am going to save my security settings. And I am going to close it. Now I am going to run my screen. My screen has now started. First you will see I am going to security and I am going to select logout. So you will see first I 
use a new user to login so you will see new user have no longer access to local messages text in a numeric input and also a trend screen you will see it will not access a trend screen now i'm going to log out and you will see our username also as a security if i am going to change a password so you will see i am going to also change a password password and password and also as a pass password so that's how our password has not changed because i am using an old one that's why it's create a problem so i am going to log out i am going to log in as a admin and password is password i'm going to log out log in so you will see i have access to that going to enter the uh, local messages string and uh, numeric display and uh, i have also access to trend so that's it that's how our security uh, we are created in our factory top usc so thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icons and comments if you don't understand anything and thank you very much again and don't forget in the description i give links to Indusoft, Cascada, Ignition, Scada, Factory, IO2 and TIA Proto tutorial as well. So watch my videos and thank you very much again.